Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Loot like shows, Destiny, Serves, Peasants, Vassals, Minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And today I want to talk about Israel. Alright, I'll give you a couple of minutes for uh, four or five of you to unsubscribe. And uh, for some of you shills over there, Tel Aviv University, to get my channel lined up. And then for some of you to go ahead and turn it off before I start actually talking about Israel. All right, is everybody settled in now? Okay, I'm going to do this video about Israel. And uh, as it turns out, uh, here we have it. Uh, Israel gets its prize, its reward uh, for the, the, the Gaza uh, slaughter. And uh, we knew this was going to happen because it always happens. Uh, Israel is now confiscating a 1,000 acres of land in the West Bank. And uh, some sources are reporting this is the largest Israeli land grab in 30 years. I don't know if that's uh, true or not, but uh, it sounds true. And um, so we had this pattern uh, over the last 30 some odd years of uh, Israel uh, basically using any excuse to punish uh, the Palestinians by taking more of their land and justifying the expansion of, comp uh, the expansion of settlements and the confiscation of land uh, by uh, uh, punishment for supposed deeds by the Palestinians. A pretty easy process to manage. Certainly it's being managed in, in the uh, public relations sphere around the world. Although interestingly enough, uh, they've been condemned, Israel's been condemned multiple times uh, for these illegal settlements. They're illegal according to the UN and yet they continue to go on. And This is another situation of uh, punishment uh, by confiscation of land, the justification of confiscation of land, uh, the uh, um, expulsion of more Palestinians and the expansion of the Israeli Jewish state. And as I've said, just about every video I've done about Israel, it's about the land. It's always about the land. Everything that goes on in Israel is about the land and it always has been from the very, very beginning, even before the very beginning. And uh, this uh, continues to prove that uh, fact. Um, Israel uh, ultimate goal is not a two-state solution. The, the Israeli goal has never been a two-state solution. The Israeli goal from the very beginning and has always been uh, to uh, confiscate all the land and expel all the Palestinians. It's really that simple. And I'm not making any, any value judgments. I'm not being anti-Semitic. Uh, I am just pointing out the very simple facts, uh, unfortunate facts that they are. And uh, so now, uh, August 31st, Israel announced that it's appropriating 994 acres, nearly 1,000 acres of the West Bank, um, and, and supposedly tying it in in this area where these three Israeli boys were killed. Let's remember that these three Israeli boys were killed, as it turns out, uh, were not killed by Hamas, uh, and they had nothing to do with it. Israel knew about it. Israel knew they were uh, dead on day one and used it as an excuse. Uh, for a roundup and a slaughter. And uh, so it's ironic that that is the source of uh, justification for confiscating uh, this land. And uh, as usual, uh, it was declared state land by Israel's uh, military run civil administration. And what they do is they just confiscate this land uh, in five different villages. Um, and the Palestinians have 45 days to appeal this to the civil administration. Of course, it's uh, will will not be honored. It will not, never be honored. They have no uh, possibility of any, any rights uh, in these courts. In fact, as uh, pointed out, it's codified in the Israeli system that uh, the Palestinians will have no right to this land whatsoever, uh, especially through the judicial system. And, um, and we already have the expansion of Jewish settlements, so this will be more areas that will consolidate uh, the Israeli position in the West Bank. Uh, with the ultimate goal of uh, basically taking it completely over as well. Um, a year ago, Israel uh, already took bids on the development of a thousand units in this area. So that, that's another part of the puzzle. They've known all along that they were going to confiscate this land. They just looked for a, a, a reason to do it, much like the excursions into Gaza. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, they just wait. Uh, for an opportunity, and that when it, uh, the opportunity creates uh, itself or uh, reveals itself, 
then they take advantage of it, like Rahm Emanuel says, never let a good crisis go to waste, and this is a good example of that as well. So uh, these uh, uh, these bids were taken uh, two years ago, or, or a year ago, for the 1,000 units on these sites, and in fact, over 500 units are already under construction uh, in these uh, areas. And uh, so they, they knew this was going to happen. Uh, they knew they were going to confiscate the land, just like they know they're going to confiscate all the other land. And uh, I, I can't put it better than uh, the housing minister of Israel in this situation who said that, quote, an appropriate Zionist response to the Palestinian terrorist government, unquote, uh, is how he characterized it. So um, he, he states very boldly it is, it is indeed an appropriate Zionist response. Um, <laughs> but uh, to t talk about real estate development in, in terms of confiscating land uh, from a Palestinian terrorist government uh, with 500 units already built on it uh, rings pretty hollow. So, uh, so there we have it. Uh, it's the land in uh, Israel, uh, pretty much the same way that's incrementally uh, constructed uh, their state, the state Israel, um, has done it incrementally, uh, confiscating one chunk of land at a time, building one settlement at a time, and uh, now they got a thousand new acres. That's their prize, that's their reward uh, for Gaza, and uh, we'll see more of this. Uh, it's just a matter of time. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?